Hello and welcome to the next video on mobile repairing. So far we have been trying to learn a lot about uh, mobile phones, types of mobile phones, the tools used in mobile repairing and how we need to use those tools. Now we move into the internal parts of the mobile phone. Now one of the most important elements that you need to understand when you are repairing mobile phones is the PCB. A PCB basically stands for a printed circuit board and this is a green color board that uh, you may have seen in one of the earlier videos on which all the components are placed. There are several components that are placed in a mobile phone PCB to enable the mobile phone to work efficiently. In this video, let us try and broadly understand what these components are and how do we segment these components. What we have here is a Nokia 3310 basic mobile phone, a feature phone. Let us try and understand the components of this. Now, the first component that you must understand is the network section of the mobile phone. This part is uh, closely related to the cell phone network or the mobile network of the mobile phone. Now these are very critical and they control how your mobile phone connects to different mobile networks. The first one that you must understand is PFO, it is called PFO. This is the most powerful part in the network. The next one is the antenna switch, also something that is used to connect to the network and the next part is the RX filter. These three components are very critical for the mobile phone to connect to any of the mobile networks. The part below that, this is called the battery connector tip. Now using these tips, the battery is connected to the mobile handset and this is how the power is transmitted to the mobile device. Now in a battery, you typically have a plus and minus symbol, so you need to match it here and this is how the battery is placed. So this is also called a BSI. On the left hand side, you will see this yellow color part, it is called the condenser. As we go down below, we also see a few more components which are important for the network of the mobile device. The first one is VCO. VC is also very, VCO is closely related to the network. It is also called voltage control oscillator circuit. This is very important for connecting to the network. Apart from these, you will see that there is an IC place there. This is called the network IC. This is the core element for connecting to the network. You will also see something called as crystal here. This is also essential for connecting to the network. Apart from these, these small components are called as couplers. All of these combined together ensure that your mobile phone's network works properly. Each of them have specific functions. We will understand about them in a separate video later. Moving down, we understand, let us understand the power section of the mobile PCB. This section is what powers the mobile phone. Now, the main component here is the CPU, this large part that you see in the center. CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. This unit controls the entire mobile phone. This acts as the main brain behind the operations of a mobile phone. It also controls the signals sent to different parts of a mobile phone. The next part that you will see here is called RTC. RTC is also a kind of crystal. It is called real time clock. This is what keeps track of the time on your phone. Right next to that is the power IC. This IC is what controls the power supply to each and every part of a mobile phone. On the other side, you will see an IC which is called the audio IC which controls the audio output or input of your mobile phone. This controls the speaker, ringer, sounds as well as the mic in your mobile. Underneath below are called the memory ICs. They are also called flash IC, RAM and ROM. RAM which stands for random access memory and ROM which is your read only memory. All these are controlled by these ICs here. On the left hand side is CPU you will see something uh, called as a charging IC. This is what controls the charging of the battery whenever a charger is connected to your mobile phone. Going down below, we will see a lot of tips where separate components are placed. So you, each of these pins are for specific stuff, for vibrator, for buzzer, 
for keypads, lights and ICs, this is, this is where the tips are placed. You will also be able to see small LEDs which are placed here. Going down below, you will be able to see the mic tip where the mic is placed and the charging tip where the charger unit is placed. So, this is the entire circuit of a mobile phone. The top portion is called the network section, the bottom portion is called the power section. Now, let us try and understand uh, looking at an actual PCB and see how this resembles. What you see now is an actual PCB of a mobile phone and as you can very clearly see, the parts are very clearly segmented. The top portion is the network portion. We saw about PFO, the battery connector, the antenna switch, RX filter. You also see the VCO very clearly. Bottom portion is the power section where uh, we have removed the some of the ICs because we have been working on this PCB. But this is exactly how an actual PCB looks like and all the components are properly maintained, you know, um, placed on these, mounted on these to ensure that your mobile phone is able to work effectively. Typically, each uh, mobile phone will have a separate circuit diagram which defines what each components are and how they are placed. You will be able to probably find them on the internet or even in books or uh, service diagrams of different mobile phones. You need to ensure that you understand the circuit diagram really well before you actually start working on any of these individual internal components. Let us try and do a quick recap of whatever we learnt in this video. This is the network section. We have a PFO here, the antenna switch, the RX filter is here, the battery tips are connected here in this part. Underneath that, we have the network IC, the VCO and the crystals are placed here. Going down below, you will be able to see the power IC, the CPUs here, power IC, audio IC, the RAM and going down below, you will see all the tips where vibrator, buzzer, mic or, uh, and charging points are connected. All of these put together effectively ensure that you are able to use your mobile without any issues. Hope you would have understood a little about the uh, PCB of a circuit diagram of a mobile phone. Let us keep learning going forward. Thank you very much.